Hi, this is Risa and welcome back to my kit review series. In this video, I'm going to unbox and review a DIY ribbon embroidery felted handbag kit designed by D. Van Kirk. Here's what the kit looks like when it arrives in the mail. It's pretty large. I've been wanting to review Devani Kirk's felted handbag kit for almost a year now and didn't find the time or rather the courage to actually get started in it. But I'm really happy and excited that I am reviewing it now. So I had first bought the book called The Art of Felting and Silk Ribbon Embroidery. And that's where I saw an image or a chapter on this felted handbag project and you can watch the book review by clicking on the link above. So let's get on with the unboxing. Here is an image of the completed felt bag that you will be using as reference. It includes a rose sampler that you will use as background for the felted bag. Now you can use your own artistic imagination on what type of roses you would like or would like to place on to the felt bag. Now I will be sprinkling in some of the experience I've had while stitching this particular kit uh, during this kit review. Now the kit includes a background felt that I'll need for the bag and now look at all of this gorgeous material. All of these knickknacks that I love opening as part of a kit review every time I start a new kit. So let's start with the silk ribbons that are hand dyed by Dee Van Niekerk herself and you can buy these silk ribbons on her website separately as well. That is if you only want to refer to the book and um, embark on this journey for this handbag on your own without the kit. The ribbon widths that I will be using appear to be 32mm, 13mm and 7mm silk ribbons and I will go through each of them in my stitch along series so you can watch that at the end of this video. A word of advice here having completed the handbag before uploading the kit review is that I ran short of the 7mm blue and yellow ribbons and my stitch along will show you how I manage that but uh, just to caution you that when you buy this kit you may run short of some of the silk ribbons. The second packet includes a book of 100 embroidery stitches that's been collated by D. Van Niekerk and it's included in the kit as a gift. Thank you very much D. I'm going to use this book for all of my other projects. The third packet includes a note from D. Van Niekerk and I scratched out my name up there on the top and essentially it includes a CD uh, with detailed instructions and step-by-step -step images of how to put this bag together. Except nowadays people don't have CD players anymore and I'm one of them but I'm hoping it'll work on a DVD player. Now if you have this book you may not need the CD itself at least that's what I thought but um, let me just go to the page that includes the instructions for the handbag. Let me just flip through the book here. Um, here's the chapter on the handbag and it has all of the detailed instructions and some of the images but what I realized was that the CD itself has additional images or close-ups of how to put the rose flowers together and how to actually make the handbag. You would need to refer to this chapter here on how to make the roses but Essentially, I also um, looked at the CD and it was very helpful indeed. Now, the second piece here is a backing cloth and I'll just go over that in a bit. Now, this is the main part of the kit and it's the felt that I will need to do the embroidery on directly. All of the felts included are handmade and it's pretty smooth from the front and the back. Quite thick as a material and it has some design features on the front part. And here is another image of the bag. Now what's good is that since felt is a thickish material, at least in this kit, the form of the bag comes out quite well. Now the next packet included is a backing fabric that's of poplin or muslin. The one that's included here is of pure cotton 
So I'm not going to open it all up. Just put that back into the package. We will go through that and how to use it in the stitch along video that accompanies this uh, kit review. Now let's go through the exciting bits and bobs that are also included in the kit. So let's see what we have in the packet here. Lots of material, as I can see. The first one here is the leather strap for the bag. Another leather piece also for the finishing touches. A nice packet of gorgeous yarn uh, that I can't wait to start using. And then there's another packet of floss that I'll be needing during the stitching and embroidering process. So let's pull one out here. So the floss here is by the company Maxi. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of the numbers here. The numbers are included in the book and in the kit itself. The packet also includes some Raj Mahal silk floss that we'll be needing during the stitching process. The kit includes some felt here, a button for the bag. Perhaps I should just turn this image around and lay out the remaining pieces so that uh, you can see it clearly. So you've seen the felt, the button, here are needles, tapestry needles, leather needles. And here is an equipment that's required for the buttons, some beads and some gold floss. So let me just lay it all out here on this white sheet of paper. So you can see it's a lot to work with to create this gorgeous felted bag for yourself or as a gift. And here are all the gorgeous silk ribbons. So that's it for the entire kit all put together. We have the instructions, we have some backing cloth, we have the felt. And here's a sneak peek of the stitch along video that I will be uploading as part of this kit review. And I'll be walking you through all of the stages of making this bag, including putting the actual bag together and you can watch the stitch along video by clicking on the link above. Here's my completed handbag. Doesn't it just look gorgeous? It took me about three weeks to complete this between work and family obligations but I hope you found the kit review useful and if so don't forget to click on the subscribe, like and notification buttons to get updates on my new videos. Bye bye.